hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is Sharisa and today I'm gonna to show you the new edition of I don't want to call it Lolita so I'm gonna just start saying Lolita expi uh, inspired so all of the stuff that I'm gonna make now are inspired by Lolita <laughs> Um, so I'm going to show you what I made. It's going to be three pieces. Well, nope, four pieces because I made a new petticoat and this one is made out of tulle, satin and chiffon. My other ones were made out of just tulle and satin and this one doesn't have as much volume on it like my tulle ones does, but I love my tulle better than the chiffon one. The chiffon one is not dramatic enough for me to say so I like them poofy I like them big and the chiffon one isn't as poofy and I did kind of make a short video on the explanation on how I made it it's not really a um, a tutorial so it's just me explaining how I made it and it's like in the simplest form that I can do instead of having all of these measurements or whatever and it's only two layers three tiers of satin and chiffon and no yeah three three layers two tiers but i show you just watch the video and it explain how i look but i show you how i look and i'm going to show you the patterns that i'm that i've used to make these uh three other three pieces that i made I, that one was self-drafted the underskirt that I'm going to show you is self-drafted also, but the um, underbust JSK that I made was drafted off of this here. So I use this one here. I use um, view C, which is a little bit shorter than view A and B. So all I had to do was straighten out this front so it doesn't have that point on it and I didn't add the ruffles or anything to it so that was the only like modifications that I made on the under jazz under bus JSK and and it is corseted all of my stuff that I make I do make it with the like my dresses I do make it with a corset in it cuz I just like the more slimming fit that it gives you and it will be, I will be able to wear it for a while, even if I lose weight, because where is that right now? There is a gap in it, and then I can slowly close up the gap as I uh, start losing weight. Um, and the other one, oh, and that was McCall's costume pattern by Yaya Han M7555. And I'll show you how that look once I finish with the other pattern that I'm explaining. And this one I bought online, I think off of an Etsy shop or was it Amazon? It was one of them. But I got it because I wanted the shirts with the bib on it like this here. And I made it in the larger size that they had it in 24. I didn't make any modifications except for to the sleeve. I used a different pattern for the sleeve and I made it too wide. And it fits kind of weird. I could have recut that, but I decided not to. But if it starts getting on my nerves, I may end up recutting that. Just the sleeve part. Everything else is okay, even though the shirt is tight. Yeah, it's tight. <laughs> so, but yeah, I made view C. I made view C bodice. So it's a high collar up on there. And it's long. I did the splits on the side because I am more hippie and have a bigger butt. So I needed the space up in there. And like I said, it is tight. But I didn't use, like I said, I didn't use the sleeves on this one. I used the sleeves off of another pattern. And let me see if I can find it right quick. Be right back. Okay, so I found it. It was the Simplicity Pattern 8444. I used a little shorter sleeve here. I just made it longer. I measured my arm to see where I wanted it to stop. Um, but it still ended up coming out a little bit shorter than what I wanted. 
and I did make it out of a lace uh, a lace fabric that had like a scallop edge up on it and I was just going to leave it alone and just use like the ruffling uh, like a rubber on it and ruffle the sleeve but I ended up cutting it and putting a band on it and then putting that lace part that scallop part on the end of the band but I end up making the sleeve itself wider than what it actually calls for in here. I should have just left it alone and not extended it out because it was, it goes straight down like a little at an angle and I flared it out a whole lot. So I shouldn't have done that and I just should have left it alone, but it came out okay. And it is a button up, which I really hate doing because none of my, I have three machines and two of the machines were not doing the buttonholes. It was acting up and giving me issues. So I had to use my embroidery machine. But it all turned out uh, pretty well. Um, the next video I bring will probably be me making the black chiffon um, petticoat because I have two tool petticoats, which are black and white. And I have the chiffon one now, which isn't as puffy, but I need a black one to go up under stuff in case it shows a little bit. So I'm going to try it on with one of my favorite tool ones and uh, then I'm gonna try it on with the uh, chiffon one so you can see just why I like the tool more than I like the chiffon so let's get into the actual showcasing of the uh, clothes so I want to show you this first so you see my bra coming through here you can see the stripes this is very thin fabric so I will most definitely have to wear a black bra with this or wear a uh, tank or something up under here but this is basically the shirt and this is what I mean that it's tight because you can see like the stretching in here the gaping so but this is the stretch lace and the way that I put it on top of the uh, black cotton it does uh, kind of stretch too because it's the cotton isn't pulled tight with the lace so it does fit kind of loose but take this off real quick this is the sleeve and this is what I mean like I don't like that but down at my side the length is perfect but if it can stay like that while it's up so this is what I mean I think I may have put my ruffling in the wrong spot so maybe I make my gathers in the wrong spot so I may redo the gathers on here see if that work and if it don't then I'm going to have to just cut this whole sleeve out and cut a new piece to make this longer but this is the little this isn't this is lace but it's lace that came off of this here's the scallop end part that came off of this before I put this on so uh, let me put the skirt on right quick so this is the skirt. It is self-drafted. And it is two layers of ruffling. So this one here and this here. And this is it with just this, with the chiffon petticoat on, petty skirt on, or petticoat. Let me put the underbust on right quick. Be right back. Alright, and here is everything together. So my next thing that I want to do is make a white underskirt or, and a blue one to go with this, possibly even a yellow, and I want to make a white lace shirt. I had to put uh, a dart in the back right there and two darts like one here and one on the other side so just to kind of get it to fit a little bit better but other than that I really didn't do any modifications to this off of the pattern they just I just cut it out cut it straight instead of having that V shape and I sewed the skirt on, this part on, which was just 
four yards of gathered material is what it is. So this is how the lace look up close. And it is, it does have grommets instead of the loops. And it is boned here, here, up to here, under here, and back here, and back here. And the boat is pinned on, it can come on and off. Lolita inspired instead of um, Lolita because I feel like the type of shoes that I wear will probably be in the um, Lolita realm so I wouldn't necessarily say Lolita even though with some of the stuff that I make and how I make it does still make it Lolita just how I style it or whatever wouldn't necessarily make it Lolita so yeah I hope you like and I try to post those other videos before I post this video of the um, uh, the petty, petty skirt <laughs> couldn't get it out of the petty skirt oh I wanted to show you how that look up under there as posted so this is how this one look how fluffy it is which is like normal everyday fit and this is how this one looks but you see how much fluffy it is like this one is my favorite i don't even want to get started on how the black one is going to look up under here so i'm going to make a, just a regular everyday black one and that'll probably be it on the petticoat i want to do an underskirt for my next one but for now I'm going to concentrate on a regular clothes or street clothes besides um, Lolita because it took me two weeks to make this but I have gone back but I am back to work I was on vacation before um, I'm back at work full time and I really don't have the time even though I'm off three days a week but I really don't have the time to sit up here and concentrate on how this is how the Lolita stuff is going to turn out with the everyday streetwear I don't have to figure anything out I just make it and out of the fabric that I like and that's it yeah I hope you like this video like comment and subscribe put that subscribe button comment below and thank you peace